Alyssa Kent played years of professional netball and is now sharing her expertise from the sideline. So as a coach of young women, I'm just really passionate about seeing young women perform at their best. Her perspectives changed since becoming a mother of three and women's health issues weren't widely discussed in the early stages of her career. I played centre, so I was a running machine and um, all of a sudden I was a late bloomer and I got hit with hormones and I put on about 10 kilos in one year. The menstrual cycle and your hormonal fluctuations are absolutely part of being a female athlete. Dr Rachel Harris is spearheading a new women's health initiative at the Australian Institute of Sport, drawing on her own experience. We'll see tactics straight away. As a competitive swimmer. Gold medal for Rachel Harris. Did we have much of it back then? I, I don't think we really talked about it a lot, to be honest. Dr Harris has spent the past few months working with elite Australian sportswomen troubleshooting where the system is lacking. The female performance and health initiative will tackle taboo topics like the menstrual cycle, contraception and medical conditions unique to women. I have a few athletes that have endometriosis and PCOS and um, that can really affect the way that they uh, recover and train. We really need to normalise all of those things, talk about it, open up the communication, get people to understand that you know you can perform really well if you if you're on your period. There are people out there that have broken world records and um, you know won gold medals. While the project is still in its infancy, new educational resources will be launched early in the new year. The aim is to streamline education between coaches and athletes and also advocate for more research into women's health both here and internationally. We certainly don't want to go around and repeat all of the studies that have ever been done in male athletes, but there's unique parts about our um, the female physiology that are really important to learn about. Brittany Klein, ABC News.